Hi everyone, so today I want to share with you some items that LDRS Creative has brought to HSN for the January 30th craft show, um, or craft day. Um, a couple Excuse me, so yeah, they'll have a couple different bundles, and um, so I just want to show you those right now, and then today we'll work with one of the sets. So um, these items were sent free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own, and any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. I want to show you these guys first. Um, we have the little pocket pals, and if you know pocket pals, they are little guys. They're so cute. Um, petite, I mean, you can see the size of like my pinky tip here, and that's about how big this little gal is. So this is the at the hop pocket pals set and then the soda shop so the way these will be there on hsn they're already on there and presented i suppose is um in bundles like this so if you want the pocket pals they are photopolymer stamps really high quality really i'm just super cute i mean i'll show you the back of these little guys so you can see these little characters kind of colored in and stuff um it'll have the dies with it so it's a bundle of the pals with the dies and there's a separate bundle that is the soda shop so you have the soda shop which is nice size here um let me get you a measurement on that because it's going to take up your card front pretty well it's yeah i mean i guess it's five and a half a little bit bigger than that possibly you know how it um, has like an extra border so that might not be there obviously when you stamp it so it's probably about just five and a half or so um, by about three inches deep so nice big focal point um, that also will have its dies bundled with it and what's really nice about these guys is that you can cut the whole image out you have the little car with the little characters in there um, and you have the die for that and you also have these dies that if you want to use you don't have to use but that help you open the doors and the windows if you like tuck your little characters in there however you want to do that so this one says spending time with you is so delightful <laughs> you're the cat's meow super cute um and on the back it'll give you a little inspo of how you might want to color them and there you go oh they're so cute oh my goodness and just a little color on these little guys and they're just colored in they're adorable they are small and they are basically done it pretty quick because they're so small you know so on the back here i just want to show you kind of what they look like here have your little pals with their little drinks, little ma milkshakes, or malt. <laughs> Super cute. Oh, look at this one. She's carrying all the different little uh, drinks and beverages and fun stuff. And um, then you have the um, counter, and then there's also um, stools there. And look at the little burger. Oh, my gosh. And everything has a die, you guys. So, baby, you're the ginchiest. Hey, cool cat, and tell me about it, stud, which, if you recall, possibly from Greece. Very cute. Okay. And then these guys are sold uh, separately. They're two different um, sets, but you know they're they have a similar feel to them, in my opinion. Like it would be really cute to pair like the truck with maybe the storefront or however. But this is the boutique storefront, and lots of cute little dies on here. I mean, look at the little cupcakes. Oh my gosh! So um, butterflies. There's like a little pie top right here. Oh my gosh! There's like little clothing. Obviously, if it's a boutique, if it's more of a restaurant kind of thing, or however you want to dress it up, right? Um, you have it like a teapot. Again, butterflies, um, little stacks like those um, cake like trays uh, or things like that. Looks like maybe some layers. There's like tops. There's things for like flowers if you want to make it that kind of thing or just to decorate with. The gowns, and then you have your um, just really the cutest things. The little hangers there. This is I think it looks like some shoes. And it comes with a whole instruction. So this is the boutique storefront. I will show you this. Like I said, I'm not sure which one we're going to work with today or in this video. So I just want to show you a little bit of each of them. There's some inspo on there for you. And then here they're showing you, you know, how you might want to use the different pieces or how they're intended to be used. So really, really great. Love the little storefront, the um, scallop. Oh, excuse me. So super cute. Um, this one has the different pieces that come from like here, you know, different um parts that'll make your little um, awning uh, super cute and then again some inspo there to show you how to put together the pieces to make it like a bakery or a boutique or a flower shop right they have all these different um, images there for you and this this one's called farmer's market excuse me and so you know you just have the cutest things you guys the little truck is adorable this one also has an awning there's like little bunnies and veggies and pumpkins and or gourds or things like that there's flowers I mean just a lot going on little basket oh my goodness like a little vase obviously all the parts for your car <laughs> little turnips are like carrots super cute and let's see what this has in here as far as stuff to work with there you go some imagery there 
And then, um, you know, it's showing you how to make your truck bed or box cart, um, depending on what you want to do right, and how you can put that together. Oh my goodness, how cute. Look at the little, oh my gosh, like fruit stand or flower stand, whatever it is that you want to do to decorate with that. She's showing how to put together the different flowers. Again, the little turnips, carrots, cute things like that. So, super adorable, and these are on their own. So, either or on this one, and then these have their little bundles in this way. So, let me grab some papers and think about what I want to do, and we'll get right to it. I think I'm going to make a little fruit stand, because it is a beautiful day today. We're supposed to get another atmospheric river out here in the Southern California very soon, but today it is like 78 degrees, sunny, beautiful, reminding me of, you know, time to start planting things and stuff like that. So, what I'm going to do is, do this portion here because we want the box car or your little stand or however it's basically this piece so i'm going to grab the pieces for that uh, i'm going to grab the pieces for my awning and then the little wheels are separate down here and then we'll come back in with our fruits and things like that so what i'm going to do is go ahead and remove the pieces that i need i'm just going to grab some papers you know colors from my stash there and we will go from there so let me see if i can get this out of here there we go. Sorry, guys. Um, okay, so it's this piece up here. This guy, this guy for the this box cart part of it. And then for the awning, you have this portion. You have this portion. So we need the support. We need this little guy that's going to cut out five of our strips, the little colors there. I'm going to put this over here, separate from that one. The awning support strip, I believe, is this guy. See, they kind of put things in order so that you can easily spot those. So it looks like it's this guy right here. So that's all for the awning. Um, and, I'll, and then you need two of this one. Okay, so I'll cut these out and then we'll discuss them again, right, when we go through to put it together. And then for the cart, you also need this portion right here that does, like, um, the little legs and I suppose these two pieces here, right? Yeah, and then the wheels. So this is also for our cart, which I'm going to put up here. And then our wheels. So it'd be that guy. And so cute, the different ways they're saying you can put it together. I mean, it can just be a little cart uh, or, you know, your fruit stand or however. Um, but we need the larger wheel and the smaller wheel. Okay. So I'm My going to My goodness, I am just like tongue-tied today. So I'm going to grab <laughs> the papers that I want for these things. I'll go ahead and cut them out, and then when we come back, we'll talk about it. Okay, so um, I'll be right back. pieces I want to go ahead and have my card base ready so this is an A2 size card base that I just made myself so it's just eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter right and then I have this uh, fun piece that I inked up the other day with the diamond press inks and so I'm going to just cut that down just to make it look a little more decorative so I'm going to use a scalloped rectangle from my stash here super cute nice size so I'm going to run this one through and we might even stamp on it right now. I'm not quite sure on that part yet, but um, I do have this cute stamp set that I really like the, you know, just a little hello to brighten your day, you know, sending sweet wishes. Be beautiful, oh, how cute. So anyway, I'm gonna run this through and I'll be right back. How cute is that? So, um, this way, this way, maybe this way. I think that'd be cute. And you know what? I want to actually maybe matte layer with red. I always like red and yellows and colors like that for fruit stand type things, even if we do flowers. I think it'd be really cute. So let me grab some red paper to go around this, maybe four and an eighth by five and three eighths, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'll go ahead and just glue those down. Um, 
Again, I can do my sentiment now. I'm not sure exactly where I want to put it yet, so I'm not going to do that. But I can still put this in a stamp position or just stamp it if I feel like uh, when we get to that. So 4 and 8 by 5 and 3 eighths on that one. And then we have this guy that just cut from the dice set. I'll just put some glue and go ahead and just pop that down, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my pieces, and you saw I just, again, cut as many pieces as you can at once, and that um, helps out. And I'm just gonna follow, you know, the steps here. So very easy with this little guy. We're just going to put the smaller rectangle within this larger one for our little uh, flower cart or fruit cart or fruit stand. They're calling it a box cart, I said. And then we have this guy. So there's the one that's by itself, and there's the one that comes with the smaller guy. I didn't need two of the small guys, so I already um, tossed the other one. But this guy is the one that's on its own. And you're just going to pop that on the top here. Um, probably a little offset so that... Ah, hold on. A little more this way. There you go. So you see this little bit of a lip on either side. Super cute, okay. And then we have the little wheels here. So um, the next thing they're showing is to do the awning so you can just put it all together. So let's go ahead and do that. So the awning, let's put these guys to the side. I have the base piece, I have the support strips, and then I have these guys. And I just have tons of them because the one I ran it through, it cuts out five of whatever color you're using, unless you just pick a specific area of it. So what I think I'm going to do is, let's go red, coral or kind of a dark pink pink which is actually pattern paper back to that coral color and I'm facing them down like the nice side is facing down the rough cut side is facing up towards me and then this guy and basically that's how they have them they glue it together but you know if you find it easier to put the glue on the strip and then you know add them a piece at a time or however I'm just gonna kind of place them and see if that works just like this and I'm kind of putting my hand to hold them and I'm gonna run across I believe the very top and this is all in the instruction sheet there I, know, I see there's glue on the other side but that'll be okay and I'm gonna lay one of these strips this is the back side again just to hold these guys together so we're gonna hold it together right there that's pretty easy there. I'm going to pick this up to make sure I'm not gluing this. Remember I said there was a little glue there. I saw that. Again, you can just pick this up and literally just do this in your hand. You know, add one and then the other and the other. Okay, and then I'm going to turn that back over. Um, actually, I'm going to find myself a registration mark. So the next one is across the band here, it looks like. So as you can see, there's like a score line there right so I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bend that to help me kinda know where I should put the second uh, band just above that area so there 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 and we'll take this guy and place it right above that score line um, I suppose you can put it right underneath if that's what you want under here I think it fits there too so um, to me it looks like it goes here though so I'm gonna hold it there and I'll be right back once that's nice and dry and then I have extras for another one right ready to go for a different cart okay I think I let that set up for long enough okay so this little guy is basically gonna go up like this on that score there's score lines there also so just and you could have scored that already if you wanted to so we have that and then these little guys so cute that will score here and if you want to, you know, use a bone folder to do that, go for it. Maybe on this one. There we go. And there you go. And then this will glue to this guy. Now I'm just putting glue on there, but if you wanted to put some dimensional, you can definitely do that to help support um, this little guy. But I think I'm just going to keep it like that and that should be okay. And I'll be right back. So we have our little base. We have the little awning on top. And they're showing you a few different ways that you might want to put them together. So for right now, I have these two bars. And so I'm just going to basically glue them on the back of this. And I'm just going to put a little glue to start off with. And just up towards the top there. And this guy also. And I'm going to let that set up because my paper is kind of slick. It's that 
metallic paper so it's a little bit slick so I'm gonna wait for that to set up before I move on this little stick but we also so there's a couple different things we can put just this little like stand that helps you here and then the wheel I cut out two wheels though so basically I wanted this plus the other wheel so you know we can do this or not the big one you can do that little guy with this little smaller wheel or we can not use this or you can go ahead and place that too but you can do that and then put both wheels <laughs> you know obviously this one's gonna be a little higher up so you want them to be even whatever it is that you want to do I did cut out the extra little guy I think I'll use both wheels so um, let's bring over our card base because I think I want to know where I'm gonna be putting these things um, and I think I'm also gonna glue it so that these little stand like little metal pieces are in between you can put it behind I just feel like it should go in here I don't know that's my preference on that one so let's pretend if we have this here and we have this guy here and my other little wheel that probably is under somewhere here it is goes there super cute and then of course we'll fill it in with our fruits or flowers or whatever we decide so let me see how that looks and let me grab my little sentiment from this other set um, let's see maybe something like that just a little hello to brighten your day and I like the way it looks up in this corner so what I'm going to do is grab a stamping platform and help me stamp that and then I'll design this under that area All right, guys, let me get this put down here we can move this little guy away so cute I love how he has all the different options to make it you know different um, try to stick that down a little bit and I'm just eyeballing how straight the lettering is I mean that looks pretty good to me so I'm gonna go for it Oh, that is not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> the point is to stay. So maybe I should add a little more. I think we'll be able to get this the first time out. Again, these are photopolymer stamps, so they're very nice and firm. And I'm saying that with this set, but of course the set that I showed earlier, um, the soda shop set will also be photopolymer. This is just a set from my stash. Just a little to brighten your day. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. So let me clean up and I'll be right back. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down at this point. So let's bring these guys back. Um, something like that. And then we have our wheels. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and glue this portion down first. And then I'll go from there. So this guy. And again, pretty much in the center. Um, I mean, you can go left or right or however but I'm gonna do dead center and then I'm gonna pop that in there too so I'll put a little glue on this guy a little glue up here and I'll just hold it all down and I will be right back okay. and let's bring our wheels back so I think I'll start with this wheel because that way I can see exactly where I'm putting this and gauge from this guy because obviously he's little so you want to put it on there and then the other one can gauge off of that one right like up here so that they're about even and so I'll put some glue on that and then hold that guy down also right about there okay, so we have our little cart and everything ready to go you know it could be flowers fruit whatever it is you want to put on there super adorable and I just I'm looking at this and I'm, this is so cute so these areas right here will make like little jars of like marmalade or something <laughs> a little jam so that is the tops you know to make it look cute this is I think the actual jar so if you want to cut that out of like a light blue or maybe even clear right that'd be cute um, so it looks like the little stuff is inside there adorable and then um, this would be the actual fillings of your jam or jelly jars or however so if you see what I'm talking about lids the jar itself and then whatever you want to put inside there and um you know I'll just find some other fun things that I want to also put on this um so I will have some different papers I will again die cut here with some music and I'll be right back
pieces here. How cute. Okay, so let's put some of these things together. So my little flower can go together. So I have this guy and this guy. And again, all these little recipes are on the um, carrier sheet. So I'm just going to offset those guys. And gold bit here in the center. And then our little jelly jars. So I just have like a little pot with a flower in it. I thought that'd be cute. So we have our little flower here. I'm um, just going to delicately put that together now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, adorable. Maybe more like that. There we go. So I'm going to hold that and hopefully that'll just stay together. Maybe I'll fluff up some of these little guys. Give it a little dimension, right? So I'll wait when that's a little more set up. And then we have our little pot for that guy to be kind of placed in. I thought that was cute. And then my jellies, I'm just going to have... Um, I suppose strawberry jellies in all of them, so I only have the red color. So I'm just going to put like a dot of glue kind of in the center here and just match up the shapes. So like this one, I think it could probably go this way in my little jar. And this looks like when I make jellies and things, they're all different jars from different times that I purchased jars because, you know, they're so cute. Um, so we have these guys here and then here. And this one here. And then I just um, cut out a couple different little top bits. So let me just put some glue here, here, and here. And oh, that's not the lid for that. Um, and I cut out some black and some kind of light colored tops. So I believe this one goes to this guy. So let's just put that one on there. And then this one looks like it goes to this guy. And then the square shaped one to this guy. We have our little jelly jars. How cute are those? I'm gonna let these guys set up for a minute before we place them and we'll be done with our card. Let's move these little guys over. So cute. And let's bring this guy back. And like I said, we'll mess with this little guy a little bit, get him a little more frilly. And let's see how tall this is. That's one thing I was wondering. It might just be something cute that I placed like here, you know, like a decoration, maybe there. And then our jars up here, that looks cute. And you know, you want dimensional, just lay them flat, whatever it is you want to do. So I'm going to put this guy on here, right down there. And then our little, um, vase essentially for this, but it could be our watering can there. I'm going to hold that down and then we'll place our jams okay. and let's see our little jams oh my gosh how adorable are these little guys okay that looks cute okay so what i'm gonna do is just place these guys here like here and then i'll probably put a dimensional behind that last one so he's kind of popped up and then this guy here it's kind of off the edge there and let me get a little dimension on this guy and then we'll pl place him right there so I have some little dimensionals in the back of this guy. I'm just going to place them right here. And there is our sweet little card with a little cart, like a little farmer's market kind of feel to it. Super cute. So just a little hello to brighten your day and our little cart there. So keep an eye out. I will work with the other uh, items in separate videos. And if, for right now, I will have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. And thank you so much, LGS Creative, for sending these items for review. Super, super adorable. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.